California. What's that, Sonoma, California? Sonoma County, California. Yeah. Sonoma. That's where the elites get together and, 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 and discuss and discuss world policies and their next plans and they shit. Run around the, they run around the, the butt naked. Yeah, the politicians run around the woods butt naked. They fly in, hope they fly in gay porn stars. This is so funny. It's on the news. That the people they don't hide it ain't no more. It's just not open now. New Gingrich admits to it. Uh, Morgan, you, you know who Morgan Freeman is? Yeah. He's a regular visitor now of, of that shit. Yeah. Morgan Freeman. The voice. The right, 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 yeah, right. He's he a faggot. Sleep. He's a big time fucking faggot. He, he sucks cock. He likes, a, he likes a dick in his ass. <laughs> no, seriously. You know? Yeah, you don't, you're trying it. to say you don't know? I believe it. Fags exist. That's a real fucking thing. That's who runs the world, man. What are your names, though? Huh? What are your names, though? Mine's Ezekiel. 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 Look, he got a scripture. Listen to this. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Proverbs 24 and 18. Least, uh, yeah. least the Lord see it and displease him. Then he shall turn away his wrath from him. Fear not thyself because of evil men, neither be thy envy, envies at the wicked. For there, for there shall be no reward to the evil man. Beautiful. The candle of the wicked shall be put out. That's on time. So bro. the candle That's of the wicked time, will be put out. That's on so time. You can't join hands with everybody. Okay? I hear you. Yeah, they, they know who But who are the Israelites of today, though? That's the thing. You know, that's the mystery. That's the great mystery of the world. No one knows who the real Israelites are. Those scum rats that's in Israel right now are not the real Jews of the Bible. They're the wicked. You know what I'm saying? That's they. They literally own all this shit. You know who owns all the banks? So-called Jews. That's right. That's why the bank All the last names end with gold and silver. Gold and silver. Oh, yeah, it's some Edomites right there. Yeah, I, learned a lot about that. I learned a lot about the rock shit and Occupy Wall Street. Shit. Uh, you said Occupy that's, Wall Street? That's communism bullshit. Let's see what it is. You know, you know, that's that's right communism. There. That's all set up by the... Who do you think said Occupy Wall Street, though? Mm -hmm. set, that's set up by the government. I almost believe it, but I was there for my reasons. Let me tell you this. Who was you there for? He was there for the party, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's why the free there. food, the warehouse is full of food. Well, you know, this is learn. You want to learn, learn this. Listen to this. This is learn. What you were doing over there, you was having a good time, probably fucking with some bitches, hopefully. That's what I would have been there for. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what, I thought Wall Street was not a good time, man, because it was infiltrated by the government. J.P. Morgan and Chase, that's good by Bank of America, yeah, yeah, and, and, I, and that's how I learned there, seeing that shit firsthand on Wall Street with the agents asking you questions in your face. You see, you see that's this? where I learned. Do you see what we doing? This can't be infiltrated, okay? Which one? Which one? Let me read this. This can't be infiltrated. Matthew, and, and this is something you need to learn. This can't be, this ain't no, there ain't no infiltrated. Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right, he He's being specific. He's being okay. specific. So he did not say he came to bring unity or bring everything together. Like Occupy Wall Street, it's all about unity. You can be a faggot. You could be a devil worshiper, a pagan. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to come together in one, demonic, in one demonic cesspool. You know what I mean? It was, I, I, uh, it was, it was a demonic I see videos on YouTube of Occupy Wall Street where I even Russell Simmons was out there even and they had a, a big circle. They'd be like, uh, man, Russell Simmons. What's that circle they say to make? Uh, uh, they were doing yoga or something. They always say, let's make a, what he, was one of the, he was one of the worst, man, coming in there, like, fucking acting God, like, fucking being like, oh, I'm not well, I'm, God I'm, I'm here to save Occupy Wall Street. Right. Hey, where's them Occupy Wall I'm Street people at home now? Home. Why ain't they occupying he's, right now? He's a guy in this world, bro, called he has money. And people will talk people with money. No matter how what you did to get that money, mm -hmm. they're gonna put you up on top. You know? They was out there doing yoga and I'm like going um and I am doing yoga. Not been no. They was doing some kind of booty booty chant. That's when I was there in your tent, you have a tent, you have a tent with a tent. I had I had a tent. I was there since it was like 
20 or 30 of us sleeping on boxes. Yeah, right. Until the, until the NYPD came through and took all of my worldly possessions. So what you doing here now? Uh, I used to live in Columbus. Oh, you born here? You didn't go down to Occupy Columbus? Yeah, I was born in Houston. Texas. No, I, was, I wasn't here for that. I was, no, it's still going on. It's weak. There's only like two people. Yeah, I saw, I see the tent with nobody there. Yeah, it's weak as fuck. Columbus is super asleep. I mean, even though Occupy Wall Street bullshit, people in Columbus ain't trying to do anything at all. Yeah, these people are stupid. I mean, they got these people on a super missile lockdown here. Especially the Negroes here. They are stupid. The niggas, the niggas. I might need an umbrella. These niggas. You fighting for this country? Ain't no fighting for this country, man. Cause this country's gonna be destroyed. So you wasting your time. You supposed to be getting the truth, though. Know? Right step back. You coming out of here. Oh, I gotta. I'm trying to save America. He gonna destroy you because you want America to keep coming. Cause you don't want the kingdom to come. Get first to the If you want America to keep coming, I mean, if you want to hold this back. It ain't. It can't be. That's why I occupy Wall Street. I'm gonna show you something. You know why I occupy Wall Street? Another movie ain't gonna do it. Like all these so-called liberty movements, because they're too tolerant. Okay, this is first of all, it's not. Yeah, not, no, you're, you're, well, no, you're absolutely right because I, they, they just like. I mean, it was set up that way to just, to, to just destroy itself. It really was. I mean, like, fucking, anytime like anyone could like ever like agree on anything, like someone would be there to like cut it down. And since it was set up in that way that any one person could cut down emotion, it was just. It was just People. First What's, Corinthians 1 and 10. You gotta build your foundation on a rock, okay? A rock is stable. Rock, okay? You can't build your house I'm on the Manhattan sand. Manhattan rock, that's just the same. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's just the same. But listen to this. This is what the scripture says. Scripture says, I've seen a lot of people, uh, I've seen a lot of videos on Occupy Wall Street. They have women leaders too, like women leading the chants and leading the way. I mean, first of all, that's a faggot shit. A man, a woman shouldn't be out there in no kind of environment like that to begin with. That's right. If, if, if they was really gonna get down with giant moms like that, they just gonna come out with feelings. But I don't know why he's saying do that. Somebody's saying to go out there and do anything. Okay. But it's all, it's all, it's a bunch of faggot shit going on. But listen to this. That's first Corinthians there's one and ten. There's a lot of homosexual, a lot of feminine spirit in men. Now I beseech you, brother. Yeah, the government has to go. They laugh, but they like, look, they just broke that thing. Yeah, about that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shad, now listen to this. That ye all speak the same thing. Read that again. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord and Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing. That's how you get success. We all speak the same thing. And that there be no divisions among you. So we ain't gonna be no divisions. But that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. The same mind and the same judgment. So what's the judgment though? In truth. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. That's the truth. But the truth ain't like you can't be, you can't be hanging out with a faggot. Oh, I got I got faggots up here. Uh, I, know work. I, I got you know what I'm saying. I got, I got a uh, a horse woman uh, doing work with. You. Right, right. You, you got a Hindu up in your uh, up in your group. With you. That's unacceptable. Is that? Okay, this is um Philippians two and one. You ain't gonna succeed in anything if the Lord ain't with you. He's just gonna destroy you. That's why that's why I occupy Wall Street. He got swept out of the way. That's all these past movements, they all got swept out of the way. What happened to the Black Panthers? Swept out of the way. What happened to the hippie movement? They got swept out of the way. And all these so-called movements, if the Lord just come through the stupid way. Go ahead. If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels of mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord of one mind. If you ain't doing the work like we're doing, you ain't gonna make it. Then it doesn't even go forward. It's all vanity. These people got a one plan, but the Ghost High has his plan. Now, ain't nobody gonna change his plan. You know? Plan is destruction. It, that's right. It's the total destruction. That's you why. Know? Right. Total destruction, destruction by a thermonuclear missile. That's what's on its way. That's what's on its way. America's not gonna be saved. There's no inverting it, you know? There's no delaying it. Right. Once the Most High says, go. <laughs> We're too late in the game. We're too late in the game. You ain't gonna get no rights back. There ain't gonna be no movement. You know what I'm saying? If anything, it's gonna be no, it's gonna be martial law, if anything. It's already martial law. The government knows that the country's been, uh, been turned to a bunch of feminine women. They have no problem locking these fools up in camp. 
They don't mind going to the camps. Yeah, they don't mind going to the camps. They're all free food. Yeah. They call them re-education centers. Get a bag, get a little pot. Yep. The floor, you know. They probably, yeah, they have a PlayStation in there. So they all love them. Don't give them no NBA Live. Just to look at them and show them off. Oh yeah, the Lord did not make a make all the missiles just to put them in the museum. They're like, oh, we're gonna have this missile museum oh, over oh, here, and so we're gonna have this missile. You know, yeah. they got airplane museums everywhere, don't they? Yep. That just, yeah, you ain't seen no missile they museum. Got they got the missile they're gonna use. Dayton. Let's get a missile trip for you. I was gonna get a Marseille. I, say, I, uh, I, I was gonna get this 54. I said 54. I said 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. So, so just like the smith that blows the coals in the fire, that, that's the modern day science. In the ancient world, it would be a blacksmith making beautiful swords, making badass swords. But now it's talking about those nuclear science. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. And that bring it forth an instrument for his work. That instrument for the word work is a uh, nuclear missile. And I have created the waste to destroy. That's another thing too. Don't so occupy Wall Street people for any kind of protest. I don't care what you want. There's one thing that y'all ain't got. Y'all ain't got missiles. Okay? The, pe the people you're going up against have nuclear missiles. They have tanks. They have don't you know they just authorized the use of uh, with 30,000 drones? They're going to they gonna unleash 30,000 drones on American skies. Oh, you realize you're already here. Out here? He's all over the place. He's going to occupy everything. Damn, he might know the CSX train jump, jumper. What's your name again? Ian. Ian. Spell Ezekiel. 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 I A N. Okay. Yeah. Paul. Paul. Ian. Guys, what the hell you doing in Columbus anyway? I used to live here and came back. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's had to be more like community, like. Let me. I gotta ask you something nice. You know. If you don't believe it is true, if you don't do this work, the Lord's gonna destroy you. And I, we have to tell you that, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna be cool with you. You're gonna get caught up out here because you're gonna listen. Well, something's about to happen, it's about to throw down. You know, mm -hmm. rice is gonna pop off. I mean, come on, think about it, man. It's and it's really gonna be over on that. You see the angels appear out the air over here. And this is gonna be real over here. You see the screen, like the UFO. You see the UFO? So now we're talking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's what that's what's talking. <laughs> This, that's, that, I mean, those I, UFOs, I, those chairs with me. I'll tell know. you what's going on. I'll give you something. You ever seen that movie, The Knowing? Uh, like this is what you do. Go go home. Go, get, the, go get download. I, yeah, go download that movie, uh, The Knowing. And you just skip right to the end. Skip to the end of it. What's the actor's in the film? Oh, Nicholas Cage. Oh, yeah? Nicholas Cage, yeah. Watch that movie. Excellent Watch the movie. end of that movie. Excellent right. movie. Excellent movie. All right. Yeah. Hold on, this is where you're yeah. occupying those. That's what comes with fire. Amos 98. Behold, the eyes Lord, God upon a sinful kingdom. So the Lord's eyes are upon this sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. This is going to be, it's a nightmare. We live in a nightmare. This, this world is a nightmare. That's why the scripture says, uh, love not the world. And if you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, table. Table. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The pentacle, the world that, that represents the world. I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, says the Lord. So the Lord said he's going to destroy this place, but he's not going to utterly destroy Jacob. Because a lot of Jacob is going to get destroyed. A lot of Jacob, two thirds of the Israel is going to be destroyed. Like, just because you're an Israelite, don't mean you're going to make it. You know what I'm saying? safe for people. When the fire starts raining, when the, when the fire starts raining, you ain't right, the Lord is going to get to see the servants to rebuild this, uh, rebuild the mother. Well, well how you do you do that? Through. You got to get that's rid of all the evil time. people, right? That's yeah. what I'm saying. They just serve the Lord's going to purify the earth's fire to, to rejuvenate the earth. The 
way that he can. Oh, he's gonna rejuvenate it all right. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna rule the earth. Like, yeah, it's like, but the scripture says, the scripture says Israel is gonna rule the earth. It doesn't say anybody else is gonna rule. Okay, it says Israel is gonna rule. You say you gotta make something like Oh, let me get this. Let me get this. Which one First John two and fifteen. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. All that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not the Father, but of the world. Yeah, so we hate this world. This is an unjust world. <laughs> First John 2 and 15. That, that's a fucked up place to live. First John 2 and 15. If you have children in this spirit. world, you just curse them. That's a curse. You, yeah, yeah, you, bring them into, you bring them into the world curse. That's what the scripture says. The scripture says, curse me the day I was born. Like in America, they celebrate birthdays. You ain't supposed to celebrate a birthday. Right. That's Christmas. You celebrate Christmas. You get in that Christmas spirit, you put on a Santa Claus hat. We going to the uh, Santa Claus cocaine party. <laughs> oh yeah. I gotta ask you something. Why do you blow out candles on your birthday? Yeah, what's that all about? Can you explain to me why you do it? I can't. <laughs> nah, it's man. Because you make you making a wish to the queen of heaven. That's all. Actually, the heart of it. No heart of it. Oh shit. The Bible, you know, the Bible says don't put a Christmas tree in your house. You know that? It's in the Bible. Yeah, I did. I did. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Right, a lot of people don't know that. You be out celebrating Christmas all happy in that Christmassy spirit. You know what I'm saying? You got a little, that's like what we're doing. You know where Santa Claus is? Babylon. But it actually, you're right, it comes from Babylon. Because what? where does uh, Santa Claus's little red hat come from? <laughs> it comes from that. That's what all the, back in the ancient world, like you, ever, you know who Baal is? Baal, so the evil is pretty much Satan. It's the evil devil, the Canaanites were the human incarnation. But it's the devil. But he always wore a pointy hat. It had a little coin on top. Like uh, Osiris. You ever seen Osiris? Even Osiris has got the pointy hat. Yeah, that's why witches wear pointy hats. That's why wizards wear pointy hats. That goes back to Babylon. You know what I'm saying? So we did. Jeremiah 10 and 1. Jeremiah 10 and 1. He the word which the Lord spoken unto uh, you. Even Thor and Odin were. Yeah. The house of Israel. This says the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. We're supposed to learn the ways of the heathen, like I said. We ain't going to be having a bunch of hanging out with Buddhists and Hindus uh, over there uh, trying to get their chakras up and all that BS, trying to, you know what I'm saying, trying to energize their kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Doing yoga and all that family stuff. All into astrology, basing your whole life on astrology. You know, checking signs and shit. What the hell is going on? Be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven. Don't get all bugged out on astrology. Okay? A lot of people get bugged out on astrology. That's what the heathens do. What's your sign, man? Because all, all ancient mythology. I can't hate you. I can't hate you. What the fuck that got to do with shit? All, all, all ancient mythology and paganism is based on astrology. You know what I'm saying? That's why all the planets are named after gods, because they are the gods. You know what I'm saying? That's why Mercury is so fast. You know why Mercury is so fast? Like, they want to try to control that. They want to try to harness that. Well, yeah, they, they think they think they, they get think they can still do that. Submitting. Oh, there was a time they were able to do that. Be not dismayed. Both sides, like he's not blessing them anymore. But there are signs in the heavens, though. There are signs. Oh, yeah, I, I know. But be not dismayed. Yeah, be not dismayed. You're not right. supposed to get too totally absorbed mm -hmm. by it. But you, I mean, you, down on this shit. I mean, it's not a crime to look at the stars and to know where uh, Jupiter is and all that. But you're not supposed to bow down and worship the planets. You know what I'm saying? Look down. That's because you know Zeus is nothing but uh, Jupiter, the planet Jupiter, uh, Saturn. Same thing with all the ancient gods. Month, the days of the week. Oh yeah, all the days of the week are based off of paganism. It's more proof this is a Satan society. Sunday, based on the worship of the sun. Monday's the moon day. Tuesday's the day of Mars. Wednesday's Odin. Day of Odin. Thursday is Super Day. Friday's Frick Day. That's the wife of Odin. Saturday's the worship of Saturday. Signs of heaven. For the heathen. Oh, one, one, one more point too. All those things, those, that's not in the Bible. In the Bible, there's no uh, 
Everything so now they're gonna have a little fake tree. So that way, motherfuckers are like, Well, I don't have a tree out the forest, I'll get mine. And what do they do? They, what else do they put on the tree now? A little pole. A little pole. What does that mean? Oh, you know, you know, you know, you know, the little, you know, the Christmas ball you put on a tree, like ball, yeah, 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 yeah. like the, a bunch the, of little spheres. The, the, yeah, what, what is that? What does that represent? What does that mean? That's fruit. The big cool is there, right there. Well, it is a ball, too. That's represent fertility. But really, it's fruit. That's the tree from the garden of Eden, and that's the fruit that you're not supposed to eat. That's what that is. That's what that represents. Push it in sight. The Christmas tree is the ultimate day of the, the demonic activity. It's a, it's a high holy day of Satan. You're celebrating. What Christmas is is a celebration of Eve eating the fruit. That's what it is. That's why it's Christmas Eve. Oh yeah, Christmas Eve. Ooh. <laughs> it sounded like true fire shit. Yeah. But that's what it is though. It's worshiping of the uh, of sin. Christmas is the worshiping of sin. When the ancient world, the Romans celebrated Saturnalia around the same time, like a week leading up to Christmas, they sell uh, they uh, paid homage to Saturn. Then on se December 25th itself, they uh, worship Sol Invictus, the sun god. It's all some paganism. It's not in the Bible. You ain't supposed to celebrate Easter either. What is Easter? Easter is the worshiping of uh, Ishtar. Anything that's something that's Yeah, All these holidays are all pagan. Everything. Everything. Especially Halloween. That's an obvious. What's what Passover? They even do Passover. Yeah, they do the Passover. They got that on. They do everything. See, the Bible's holy days are way better than the man-made holy days. Like on the Passover, we're supposed to eat some lamb, drink some wine, and get that unleavened bread too. But I mean, that's in the script, you can't drink some wine. <laughs> well, you ain't got a wife. Hey, get, get, get your uh, boy Amos uh, 7. Amos. If you ain't got no, you got a woman, you got a wife. They know we have a wife. You don't have a wife in this society. All you have is a turn. Okay? This is your turn. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's all it is. It's all, everything is all temporary. Ain't no woman going to stay with you for life in this in this world, the way the society is set up. Like back in the old days, a lot of, a lot of motherfuckers stayed together, but nowadays, that's, right. that's just going to work. Yeah. I was out with this girl for like four years, but I've been, I've been seeing a lot. I've been just being in nature, just... Yeah. Well, nature is a lot more friendly than these hoes. Mm -hmm. I'd, yeah, right. I'd rather go talk to a tree sometime to deal with people. <laughs> I think you're right. That's go talk to the frogs and shit. Go talk to a frog. Yeah, yeah, go talk to a deer. <laughs> just go out in the woods and just listen. Go <laughs> Amos 7, 17. Therefore, thus said the Lord, thy wife shall be an harlot in the city. The Lord is prophesied. He said your wife is going to be a harlot in the city. So you, we live in the city. Look at all these hoes. All these women are hoes. There ain't no good woman out here. 
I mean, maybe there is. There is. I ain't seen. Yeah, you might meet somebody, man, that look good and shit. And right, ain't right. And a lot. Popping off your conversation and shit. Mm -hmm. You really dig her. You really like her. You know. Your sex is like got sparks and sparkles coming everywhere. Then you find out the yeah. secrets. Then you find right. You find out the bitch a hoe. You find out she done sucked the dog dick. You know what I mean? You got ran by a horse. You find out she grew up in the country around horses <laughs> and experimented with a horse. You know what I'm saying? You find out these secrets after later though. Oh, you might start feeling on her. You start feeling them, them yeah. things you don't want to feel. Right, right. You might have some shit. You know what I mean? Then you after your mother, after the sparks go flying. Then you fucked up. Right. The sparks go flying and shit, but you wake up in the morning. Oh shit, man, something ain't right. You gotta go to the clinic now, the free clinic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She blame it on you. Yep. She said it was you that did it. Yep. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Once you fucking more than one band, complications begin to that woman's pussy. You know? How can these women, how can they act like those? Well, they push everybody away from this. But everybody was following this vibe, but these women was not acting like that. They was not acting like this. No. Yeah, no, yeah, well, you did hurt. Yeah, when women, yeah, there was no such thing as AIDS. You ain't hear nobody really getting syphilis in any kind of disease. Cause that, yeah, because yeah, the diseases can only spread through adultery. That's the only way. Because if, if you stay loyal to your, uh, a curse. if a woman stays loyal to her husband, ain't shit getting spread. Yeah, they never had right. DNA tests to see if the kid was theirs back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They knew it was their kid. Yeah, they want no, uh, what's that? Find out who my baby is. Fraternity test. More, more, yeah, more, more, more they want, they want no more impoverished souls. There ain't no need for it. <laughs> yeah, that, what kind of shit is that? Bitch? Nowadays, you need DNA tests. Well, that ain't true because you don't know if that's your baby or not. Because at the same time, you had sex with her, so did your best friend, your brother, and your cousin. So you don't know whose baby that is. And besides, you'd be afraid to get a DNA test anyway. Yeah, that way you play it. Come back you know, to like, I raised the kid his whole life, and it's not even mine. Yep, like, God damn, I done raised your ass, you ain't mine. Well, here it is, if you don't get a DNA test in the shores, they put you on the house. Oh, yeah, then the woman, hey, yeah, here we live in this society. The scripture says she was going to be a hoe, we just read it. It said, your wife would be a harlot in the city. That's how these women are, they be a hoe, they have five different babies, daddy, and then they're going to get you for child support, and the government makes you pay a hoe child support. But she's a hoe. What kind of sense is that, man? So this government can pay child support even if you find out it's not true. Because according to the, yeah. hey, give me the law on that. Because according to okay. the Leviticus 28, because according to the Bible, you're supposed to put a fist to death, like OJ. You know, Leviticus like, 20 and 10. You, know, like, you see what OJ did to his wife when she committed adultery, right? He handled his business. You know, so he's a righteous man. So he's a he's a he's a, he's a great he's a, he's a, he's a murder now. <laughs> so, here you go, Leviticus That's 20 and 10. He gave her the juice. And the man that <laughs> committeth adultery with another man's wife. Even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. Oh, they don't get put, they supposed to get put to death. But in America, the woman get rewarded with child support, section eight, boot stamps. to the most high, you're supposed to chop them. Yeah, even them, he the Muslims get that one, right? They stone a bitch if they cheat on her. Oh yeah, the Muslims don't play that shit. Yeah, Jesus would have chopped that bitch's head off. Yeah. I'm out of sack because if a woman doesn't know any better. Okay, so well, you got an overload now. <laughs> I gotta sit on that, alright? Yeah, spiritual overload. Spiritual is just meditate on the other hand. Meditate. What's up, sweetie? You don't need to worry about makeup, man. Makeup, man. makeup take your beauty away. That's yeah, like my problem. Uh, you know, she's she's like she's she's I was about to say, she she like, a yeah. see her face. I was about to say, she looked like a girl from Flashdance. You know what I mean? Remember in the old movie for the A's there, all the girls were dancing all the time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she like she was going to break out through and start dancing and shit. That dude was weird, man. I don't know. He kept, I just kept trying to look in my eyes and shit, like, like getting all close, like. <laughs> he, was, he was high. Oh, uh, he had to be high on some shit. Stumbling like that, back and forth. He couldn't, you know. He was feeling good. Now he's feeling bad. <laughs> he's like, oh, fine. He's like, overload, I gotta go like, oh, sit down. He's like, oh shit, I gotta fucking smoke some more of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's high on bath salts. I'm glad he didn't try to eat our eyes out. Man, I don't even know what's going on, man. Oh, there's that eat of my bitch we talked to the other day. Oh, so we're gonna leave.
scriptures. Oh, we're gonna get a couple more scriptures then before we help out of here. How you doing today? Let me read this one. You like the Bible? I'm late for an appointment, I'm sorry. Oh, well, Christ won't be late. When he comes back, he won't be late to come save you. <laughs> <laughs> he got something to do that day, too. <laughs> yeah, he got something to do. <laughs> yeah. Jeremiah 9 and 5. I'll start at, yeah, I'll start at 5. And they will just, I'll start at 4. Take ye, he, every one of his neighbor, and trust ye not in any brother. For every brother will utterly supplement for every neighbor will walk with slanders. Hey, everybody walking with slanders out here. A bunch of liars, a bunch of demons. Oh, I got something to do. Bitch, you ain't got shit to do. Well, your boy say he was on the Rainbow Coalition or something? Man, that dude, yeah, he's probably a CIA agent. High on, high on uh, some experimental. Yeah. And they will deceive everyone his neighbor and will not speak the truth. All right, ain't nobody speaking the truth out here. Everybody lied to their neighbor because nobody's telling their neighbor the truth about his Bible. They don't even teach the Bible. They, most of these young kids, they don't even know the damn Ten Commandments. Hey, I mean, they don't even know the Ten Commandments. There go Esau. That's how you know. Yo, Esau. Esau. And he looked over, Esau looked over. He knew he was Esau. Let's trust his brother. That's the wrong hey, trestle. That, that, that's the wrong <laughs> That's a big, yeah, that's, you do look like a tall trestle. <laughs> this is, they speak, they speak not the truth, they have taught their tongues to speak lies. So when, yeah, when you say the Bible is not the truth, you're speaking lies. Uh, and worry themselves to commit iniquity. Iniquity, all y'all care about is doing something evil. Being a faggot, committing adultery. Fat bitches eating pork all day. That's disgusting. Keep going. Now I have been patient in the midst of the sea. The oh, sea, they refuse to know me, says the Lord. Yeah, oh, so y'all refuse to know the most high. No matter how many scriptures you read, they still refuse. Some they don't want to hear, they got to go. Some that little word they hear, they go, I got to go. They always want to talk about it. They want to know what we think in our own words. Right. Everybody, I just want to know what you think about it personally. I don't want to hear the Bible. Just tell me what you think. You got it in That's exactly how it is. Yeah, I don't think. Therefore, this says the Lord of hosts, behold. I'm uh, thinking it gets you killed. That's a missile scripture right here. Uh, when you thinking, when you in combat, you ain't got time to think. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about what you think. Keep going. This is what the Most High said. I will melt them. Ooh. And try them for how shall I do for the daughter of my people? So the Lord said, if you ain't doing what the Lord said to do, you're going to get melted. Read that again, That's bro. talking That's about that fire. As soon the Lord's going to destroy America by fire. <laughs> if, if you ain't doing what the Lord commanded you, you're going to be destroyed. You're going to get melted. You're going to melt. <laughs> yeah, but like the, gonna, yeah, how do you get melted? <laughs> hey, you are, by you extreme like heat. <laughs> to melt human flesh. Look, here comes a zombie. Jeremiah 9 and uh, 7. Therefore, this says the Lord of hosts. Behold, I will, I will melt them and try them. For how shall... Oh, my fault. Yeah, the Lord going to try you. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be accountable for all your wickedness and all your sins. If you, if, yeah, if you, if you don't believe in the one they call you Hawashai, excuse me, if you don't believe in your Hawashai, then your sins are not forgiven. You're going to be doomed. You're going to be fucking damned. You're going to be damned. But I believe in my heart. Yeah, you know how they say it. Cause, yeah, because if you don't believe in your house, shot, you're dead in your sin. You're going to be judged for them sins. You're going to pay. It's against the Bible to eat pork. If you fight the Bible to eat pork, you're going to be destroyed. Well, you're going to be destroyed by your weight. Some fat hoes trying to holler. Your tongue is, a, is an arrow. Your tongue is an arrow and it shoot out. It speaks to see. Oh yeah, they tell they speaking law. I got another one to back that up. Read that again. Uh, Jeremiah 9 and 8. Your tongue is an arrow. Shot out. It speaks to see. One speaks peaceable to his neighbors with his mouth, but his heart, he lays his weight. That yeah. sounds like an Edomite. Yeah, I got another one to back that up. Check this out. Ecclesiastes. 28 and 17. The stroke of the whip maketh marks in the flesh, but the stroke of the tongue breaketh the bones. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how these people, man. Oh, yeah, 
that, that really goes to the politicians. Yeah, you're right about that. Or oh, like Mitt Romney, the biggest flip flopper in the history of flip flopper. You know what I'm saying? And y'all still following some goddamn Mitt Romney. Well, hell, Obama's the biggest goddamn liar and heathen on the face of the earth. And y'all love some goddamn Obama. Greatest president Obama's ever. Liar. I gotta get two. You got that one song, bitch. You I, a bitch. I, I, you stole it from me. I was about to say, Too Short made one of the greatest songs ever created. It's called Bitch. 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 It's yeah. Bitch. Yeah, it's a song with Too bitch. Short. It's called Democrat. It's stupid, but he was just coming out saying how Obama was a fucking puppet and the fucking government's against you. Obama is a puppet. The government is against you. He's a fucking A Rab white guy. <laughs> He's the second. Second white guy to join Bush. You joined Al Qaeda here, out here. We got called Homeland Security. Got Al Qaeda out here. I was watching American Dad. They, was, you know, the CIA. Your boy Stan. Oh yeah. He was like, man. He's like, we gotta go get Al Qaeda. He's like, what's they doing? Is they, is they a threat? Like, no, they just roasting marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> hey, roasting marshmallows is against the Bible. Got pork in it. You got gelatin in it. That's against the Bible. So actually, that's a that's an act that committed. <laughs> Yeah. Let's get let's finish that up. We're going to get out of here. Alright. John, not visit them for these things, says the Lord. Also, the Lord, if, the Lord going to visit you for all your wickedness. You've been out here being a faggot. You've been out here calling yourself an atheist, an agnostic. The Lord's going to destroy you. The Lord is going to destroy all agnostics. The Lord's going to destroy all atheists. The Lord is going to destroy all faggots. The Lord is going to destroy all Edomites. The Lord is going to destroy, uh, destroy all harlots. He's going to destroy all whores. Yeah, the Lord is going to destroy two thirds of Israel. He ain't fucking playing. <laughs> if he's going to destroy his own people, what you think he's going to do to the rest of y'all? I got it. can't get the fire out before I go, you know? Uh, I just finished that up and we get be done. For the mountains will I take up a weeping and wailing. There's going to be all kind of weeping and wailing on the streets of America real soon. There's going to be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. And then there's going to be fire. He go off. Oh. <laughs> For their habitations of the wilderness, a lamentation because they are burnt up. Yeah, they're getting burned up. So the other nations around the world, they're going to be weeping when they see America get destroyed. They're going to be like, oh, that beautiful whore got destroyed. You know, they're going to be sad. That's in Revelation 18. Keep going. So that none could pass through them. Neither can man hear the voice of the cattle. Both found the heavens and the beasts of the field, they are gone. Well now that yeah, now you ain't you ain't gonna hear the voice of the uh you gonna hear shit no more. You ain't gonna hear no loud ass cars no more. We ain't gonna hear no more your bullshit ass music. We ain't gonna hear no more bitches running their mouth. That, yeah, that's a, she's a cattle, she's a cow. These bitches, they they a bunch of fat cows. Like I said, we got an epidemic of fat bitches going on in America. But bitches all they do, all bitches all bitch does is sit on a couch. And eat motherfucking pork all day watching cable TV. They said America is the fattest country ever. Hey, it's the fattest in the dozen. Hey, that's funny. There's a fat bitch up there eating in the window. <laughs> hey, get her out here. I already yeah. did. What up, baby? I need to buy it. Trying to give some head. There's no clown. <laughs> he look like an Israelite. He look like he did. That's the second time I've seen him. He look like a Chinese assassin. What up, huh? Oh, was she? They need a bus. Sorry, two buses. Number two. There's only two minutes left.